This 12 News Dick's Open special has been sponsored by these local businesses. Thank you for staying with us at 5.30. We're live here at the Enjoy Golf Course in Endicott, home of the Dick's Open. Every year since 1973, tour champions have been coming to the southern tier to play golf at this course. And the tournament is one of the biggest events in the area every year. It's all thanks to the efforts of one man back in 1971. Our 12 News Kyle Spisak is here with the story. Thanks, guys. And tomorrow, golfers will officially kick off the 17th Dicks Open right here at Enjoy Golf Course in Endicott. 51 years ago, the PGA first stepped on the greens of Enjoy when the BC Open officially became a PGA Tour event. All thanks to the efforts of one man, Alex Alexander. If you're around to Enjoy Golf Course this weekend, well, you might hear a lot of this. But the tradition never would have started if it wasn't for founder Alex Alexander and his friends coming up with the idea over a few drinks at the bar in the 1970s. Nancy Phillips, a co-worker and friend of Alex, told me some of the story that began the BC Open. I started with him and Johnny Hart, the cartoonist, um, out having perhaps a couple of cocktails and talking about, we want more golf, we should, what should we do? And they outlined their plan on a couple napkins with Johnny scribbling out cartoons as he went along. And before you knew it, you know, it only took them two years of having a tournament, and the third year they were part of the PGA Tour. So it's always gone on from there. Alex's love of golf and determination would lead to the PGA Tour picking up the BC Open in 1973 as an official tour event. Though, this is only a fraction of the impact that Alex has had on Broome County. He founded Broome County Community Charities that to date has raised over $20 million that has helped fund local organizations throughout the southern tier. One of Alexander's big focuses was on health care, with the community charities donating over a million dollars to local hospitals. Corey Jacobs is the executive director of the UHS Foundation, and she says that the contributions of Broome County community charities have been a major part in funding projects for UHS. Okay, so the Broome County Community Charities has been such a significant contributor to UHS over the years. Um, I looked this morning and they have donated more than $1.2 million just to UHS alone since its inception. Um, Alex Alexander was a, the founder of Broome County Community Charities and um, the, you know, the BC Open and now the Dick Sporting Goods Open. And this lobby would not be possible without Broome County Community Charities. Alex was a trailblazer for giving back to the Southern Tier community, but even as a great person, those close to him said he was an even better friend. Every time I met with Alex, I felt special. Always. And that's just amazing because there's not many people that you meet in life that always make you feel special. Alexander died in 2010 at the age of 88, but his legacy lives on through his philanthropy. In honor of his dedication to the community, the new tower at the Wilson Hospital has been named in memorial of him in the Alex Alexander Memorial Lobby. Live from the ninth green, I'm Kyle Spizak. Back to you guys on 18. Thanks, Kyle. In 2023, the annual Dick's Open concert was recognized by the PGA Champions Tour for the best special event award. The PGA officials say last year was the first year this award was handed out, and the Dick's Open won based on its unique nature and community impact. Tournament manager John Carides told 12 News the concert stands out because it's held on the fairway of the course and not a driving range or public venue away from the course. Carides says the setup provides attendees with a close-up experience of big-name artists. Being able to have 15,000 people in the fairway behind us and having an A-list artist here. Uh, it isn't every day that you see a Luke Bryant, five-time entertainer of the year, coming to Endicott, New York. This year's concert will feature multi-Grammy Award winner Luke Bryan on Friday night. The concert will be held on the fairway of the 18th hole. The Dick's Sporting Goods Celebration. The Dick Sporting Goods Foundation is celebrating a 10th anniversary of its Sports Matter program. And it's celebrating with a $2 million donation. 12 Sports' is Hunter Caparelli is here live at the course and has more on how this helps the community. Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys.
Established in 2011, the Dick Sporting Goods Foundation is a non-profit corporation with a mission they say is to inspire and enable sport participation. I spoke with local youth coaches this week about the impact, their, uh, the impact that the foundation has had on their little league. In 2014, the Dick's Foundation created its flagship initiative, the Sports Matter Program. Foundation Vice President Rick Jordan said the primary objective of the program is to provide grants to break down the barriers that prevent kids from playing youth sports. We're so proud of the work we get to do with our Sports Matter program. Um, we believe at Dix that sports change lives, and um, a big component of that is uh, youth in our community. A new program created last year by the Dix Foundation, 75 for 75, provides 75 Sport Matter grants of $75,000 each to youth sport programs around the country in order to buy equipment like this baseball bat or this glove. Johnson City Little League baseball coach and board member Matt Zaleznikar says the JC Little League first received a $10,000 grant three years ago from the foundation. Dix has since stayed in contact with Zaleznikar about further funding for the league. And he just kept asking questions about what we needed for the programs, both baseball and softball. And I just kept listing things off. And he's like, all right, what else do you need? What else do you need? And I just kept listing things off. And he never gave me a number of what we were going to shoot for. Um, but uh, it ended up being the $75,000 sports management grant. And we've used that money uh, pretty, uh, pretty effectively. Softball coach Matt Murphy, who was on the JC Little League board with Zaleznikar, believes the sky is the limit for the league's future growth. We want to grow this league. The whole idea of this is to have kids fall in love with baseball and softball and sports in general. So the, the more ways that we're able to provide the best experience possible for the, for, for the, for the kids as well as reduce the cost, um, if we can open doors for any kid regardless of their financial situation to be able to play softball or baseball in Johnson City, uh, that's the goal. Zaleznikar, who used to play on the same fields 30 years ago, is just trying to make the league what he remembers as a kid. What, what, what they did for us and the kids, uh, we can never repay. Um, we just, we're just thankful every single day. We have a bunch of kids that are taking full advantage of it. We gained uh, four new teams between softball and baseball, so kids are coming out. We are able to lower the cost uh, to play, um, and it's, just, it's, it's fun to give back. One, two, three. 75 for 75, distributed more than $5.6 million in 2023. The local community has undoubtedly recognized Dick's initiative to focus on youth sports in under-resourced communities. I'm 12 Sports Hunter Caporelli. Back to you guys at the 18th hole. And this afternoon, 12 News met with members of the Dick's House of Sport at the Greater Binghamton Airport to get a tour of the Dick's House of Sports blimp. The airship is a ADC-170 model blimp, and it takes off with about 170 cubic feet of helium in its balloon. This airship is one of eight blimps in the world, five of them being in the U.S. It takes a crew of two pilots, two mechanics, and 14 crew mechanics to operate the blimp day to day. 12 News spoke with Terry Dillard, one of the pilots of the blimp, about their daily routine covering this event. When all the guys come out, they'll, they'll come out, they'll hold the ropes, we'll move the mobile mast out of the way, we take off into the wind, just like airplanes do. Uh, the golf course is about five miles over there, so we'll lift off from here, find our way to the golf course, and we'll hang out over the golf course for the rest of the day. Yeah. For the duration of the tournament, the Dick's House of Sport Blimp will be making its way around Broome County area for the community to see. Make sure you stay tuned as we have more of our coverage here as we stay on the ground, but we're going to find out how this tournament gets off the ground every year. But before we get to break, we'll take a look at the pairings for tomorrow's tea times here at the Dicks Open. WBNG is proud to present a variety of programs specifically designed to serve the educational and informational needs of children ages 16 and under. Information concerning that programming is contained in our annual children's television programming reports, which are available in our online public inspection file on the FCC's website. For more information, contact Kate at WBNG, 607-584-7262. Hey, New Yorkers, you want to save money, right? Then listen up. Energy Savers is New York's leader in home comfort. You could be eligible to receive a grant for free installation or tax incentives and huge discounts to upgrade windows or heating and cooling systems. We invite you to receive a free energy audit. The sooner you call Energy Savers, the sooner you can save money and be more comfortable. 
Call 607-821-0779 or visit energysaverscny.com. When I hit 80, I needed help around the home. A friend of mine told me to call Freedom Care, and they'll pay my granddaughter to take care of me. Funded by Medicaid, Freedom Care allows people to choose who provides their care, and the caregiver gets paid instantly after their shift. Life is sweeter with her around. Nanny gave me so much joy as a child. Now it's my turn to return the love. Call now to find out benefits and pay, and how fast you can get started. Back in 1916, Wegmans started as a produce company. That's why we only partner with farmers who share our commitment to high standards. We've always believed that freshness is the key to the perfect fruit. And together, we ensure that every bite is at the peak of perfection. This is our passion to bring you and your family exceptional flavor every day. We are your local Mitsubishi Diamond dealer. This means when AJ Lido & Sons installs your Mitsubishi heating and cooling system, we provide you with a 12-year manufacturer warranty. We are the area's only American Standard Heating and Air Premium dealer, which provides your new furnace or central air conditioning system with 12 years of coverage. Free estimates always for new installs or replacements of heating and AC equipment. Call today to schedule and take advantage of early bird pricing and 0% financing. Investigate TV Plus, we always try to give viewers a takeaway, something they can learn from a story. Should this be better regulated? How big of a problem is that? Do you think people are dying? I think viewers are looking for something different, something fresh, something that feels helpful. At WBNG.com, you can find the latest news, weather, and sports in your area simply by clicking the respective tabs. You'll also find local events, newscasts on demand, around the tiers, and much more. Got a question? Click on the Contact Us tab. Visit WBNG.com. Yep, yep. Thank you. Welcome back. It takes many and apologize for the slight delay there, but it takes many dedicated people, both working on our team and here at the Dick's Open team, to get, get this event going. And just one of those important ones are the interns here of Dick's Open. Our 12 News Connor Thompson tells us how big their impact is. To make the Dick's Open come to life each year, it takes hundreds of people to get the course ready. One group that helps make this event a success is the interns. Event coordinator Colleen Mooney says while many of its interns are majoring in business or sports management, they lend a hand in every aspect of the tournament. We have interns come from colleges. Um, they do an internship during the summer. Um, they apply for it. They set up all everything in the background. They help us with the operations. They help us with inside sales, marketing, um, social media. Mooney herself is a former intern. She says that before taking the internship, she was unsure of what she wanted to do with her career and that with this internship, it allowed her to find her passion. Mooney is not the only former intern on the staff. Tournament coordinator Mackenzie O'Brien also took part in the program. She always wanted to work in sports in some capacity, and she said this program was a stepping stone to make that happen. I wanted to work in sports as a college athlete. I wanted to keep that little bit of competitiveness with me through my career. Um, so I always knew I wanted to work in sports, and our community is so lucky to have this major event in our backyard so my internship was just a stepping stone and I had a, a choice of a couple different options and ultimately made the choice to stay hometown and work for this great event. Aaron Buckley is one of the current interns and this is his second year doing it. Buckley says that while the connections he makes while interning are important the people he works with made it an easy choice to come back. Well, just the connections and people that I've met throughout the process. Like, I love the staff. Like, they're honestly what made me want to come back was because the staff is so awesome and so enjoyable to be around at all times that I just, like, I look forward to coming here every day just because the people I'm around. Both Mooney and O'Brien say that if you are interested in interning for the Open, you can reach out and apply in the fall. A link to more information can be found on our website, WBNG.com. Connor Thompson, 12 News, Broome County. And now we take a look at the lovely Enjoy Golf Course as we send it over to Chief Meteorologist Howard Manges as he looks at our full weather forecast. 
Well, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful afternoon here on the golf course. You know, we had uh, the threat of some rain here just about a half an hour or so ago, but it dried up very nicely before it got to the golf course. We've seen a, a nice breeze pick up here. Temperatures drop nicely as well. It's quite beautiful out here, just muggy. Let's take a look at the radar and satellite nationally, nationally and there's a lot of activity going on here in the northeast. But um, thankfully, we haven't had a whole lot of widespread severe weather here today. Coming in a little closer, there you'll see that there, uh, there's, there's still some rain and some thunderstorms storms pushing off to the south and to the east. In fact, I don't even see any lightning on here at the moment. Looks like all that uh, precipitation is is dying right off there. You notice that green line extending down into northern Pennsylvania coming away from those thunderstorms. That is an outflow boundary, um, you know, a figment of uh, a result of those thunderstorms that formed earlier. There's a flash flood warning in western uh, Shenango County in effect until 7 o'clock and um, yeah, and even southern Cortland County as well. Let's take a look at what else is going on here. We do have uh, that heat advisory in effect uh, tonight through 8 o'clock and then again tomorrow from 12 day. That's new. That was issued here this afternoon. So something to keep in mind if you have any outdoor plans tomorrow. Temperatures right now, we're sitting in the 70s and 80s. We've dropped uh, most of the 90s off the map. We've got 90 in Margaretville still in Montrose because you folks there haven't seen any rain to cool things down. But 71 cool degrees right now up in Norwich. As far as uh, that actual heat index, well, they've come down significantly as well. Still 80s and 90s but we've lost the triple digits thanks to some of those showers and clouds coming through here this afternoon. Dew point, it's still muggy. Uh, we're in the mid-70s here in Broome County, upper 60s, uh, the rest of the area, but still a lot of moisture. We'll get a break from that eventually. We'll see that in the seven-day forecast. Uh, let's take a look at the headlines here. We've got things, um, that severe outlook for tomorrow, marginal risk. One out of five for maybe an isolated severe storm yet again tomorrow. So keep that in mind if you're headed out to the golf course through the early afternoon as well. But uh, there's a look at that future track. Again, showers and thunderstorms will be winding down here tonight. That threat of severe weather here in Broome County is really, really low right now. As we continue into tonight, that shower activity decreases. Then into tomorrow morning, we're waking up with some sunshine and some clouds. It'll be very warm yet again. That's why we have that heat advisory in effect. But by the afternoon, Expecting some scattered showers and some thunderstorms to potentially develop again with that, um, with that, with that risk of a isolated severe storm for tomorrow. Again, that's a one out of five risk. But watch the timing of this as we head through the evening hours. You know, the concerts here down at Enjoy. If you're coming out to see Luke Bryan, uh, the good news is I, I think the timing of it shows that we should be out of here by eight or nine o'clock. So that looks. Um, let's hope that that ends up being the course. Uh, but as we look at that seven-day forecast, notice again you'll that tomorrow filled with red because we have that first alert weather day in effect for the heat advisory. Then Saturday and Sunday, we're still into the 80s. Sunday will, Sunday will be hot once again. Uh, we're going to be in the upper 70s there for Monday. The thing we lose, the humidity, will be on Monday and Tuesday. And then temperatures up and down for Wednesday and Thursday as well. So, uh, again, if you are headed out here uh, tonight or tomorrow, please drink lots of water. Stay hydrated. That's the key to staying safe on such a hot and humid uh, weather pattern. Thank you, Howard. And I don't know about you, but it's, it's, I'm beating here a little bit. I'm beating here. I'm staying hydrated, as Howard just mentioned, in between our breaks. So let's <laughs> go to one of those breaks. And coming up here at 530, ever wonder what it takes to be a pro or what it looks like to play in a pro-am at a pro tournament? Brand new 2024 Nissan Rogue SV all-wheel drive for only $349 a month for 36 months. Make car buying simple. Drive your deal at Simmons Rockwell Nissan in Horseheads and Hornell. At Alpine Metal Roofing, we manufacture, sell direct, and install metal roofing. We only use the highest quality 28-gauge metal available in a wide variety of colors. With our experienced installers, you'll know you're getting a maintenance-free roof done right. Contact us today for your free estimate. Alpine Metal Roofing. Made in New York. Made to last.
Looking to recycle scrap metal? Look no further. Greenblatt Metal is your local recycling facility in the southern tier. We've been providing honest, clean, and efficient service since 1960. We purchase all types of scrap metal and pay the highest prices available. Our services include industrial and commercial scrap metal recycling, dumpster garbage collection, and bottle and can redemption. Visit us today at 7 Alice Street in Binghamton, New York. Greenblatt Metal, your partner in recycling. This month at Matthew's Chevrolet, lease a four-wheel drive Silverado 1500 Custom Crew Turbo Max for $449 per month for 39 months. Or choose a new Equinox LT all-wheel drive and get financing as low as 3.9% or save over $3,000 off MSRP at Matthew's Chevrolet or MatthewsChevy.com. I'm interested in trying these new weight loss shots, but I need it to be more affordable because my insurance doesn't cover it. I'm not sure which online provider to trust, and I want to ask a doctor a lot of questions. You don't have to whisper. At Henry Meds, our knowledgeable providers demystify compounded semaglutide, the same active ingredient in brand name weight management meds. If you're eligible for treatment, your medication will be shipped to your door for just $2.97 a month. Join thousands of others who trust Henry Meds for weight management medication. Come to the Binghamton Air Show July 6th and 7th featuring the U.S. Navy Blue Angels. Sponsored by Tioga Downs Casino Resort. See the legendary pilot Manfred Radius, international competitor Mike Gulen, aerial pilot Trevor Rafferty, and more. Grab your lawn chairs and watch high-flying sailplanes. Stunning formation flying and aerobatic performances. Buy tickets online only at BinghamtonAirShow.com. 12 News This Morning, up to get you going. This 12 News Dick's Open special has been sponsored by these local businesses. The Dick's Open kicks off with a pro-am round before the official tournament begins to give a chance for the pros to show some amateurs the ins and outs of the golf tournament and the sport overall. And one of those who got a chance to get out there, our own 12 News' is Autrium Maneshini, who went out with the Union Endicott golf team to find out what this part of the tournament is all about. I've always wondered what it takes to play in the pro-am round of a golf tournament, and now I get to experience that with a little bit of help from the Union Endicott golf team. Let's get started. First, let's break down what a pro-am looks like. So the pro-am um, is an opportunity for the tournament to sort of get their sponsors involved and uh, an opportunity for some local avid golfers to co sort of play with the professionals. At the Dix Open, the pro-am round stretches two days. Four amateurs will play with professionals and the amateurs don't necessarily need to have golf skills. And that's what makes the game so great is that you can have all different levels. You can play the same courses as the professionals. You can say, play some of the same tees. And obviously throughout the whole program, the professionals are giving tips to the amateurs, which is, I think, the best part. You're going to interlock your fingers. Before hitting the course, the UE golfers walk me through the basics. Interlock them like that. And we immediately hit our first bump of the training session. Right hand. You're a righty, right? I'm a lefty. Uh-oh. <laughs> Keep it simple, um, no expectations, like don't go into it thinking every shot's going to be great. Golf's hard, um, it's hard to hit every shot good. And especially at the start, it's just like about fundamentals, um, learning the basics and then growing from there. Does it matter In which line foot? with the ball, left foot. Left. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then you're just going to get up to it and then take a swing. And after a couple more practice shots between the guys and I on the school's new golf simulator. That was a good one. Was it? I yeah. Feel like a golf natural. We decided to take this party to enjoy for a mock pro am. Okay. As you can see, we were off to a great start. People put a ton of pressure on themselves to do well in pro-ams, 
and that can work two ways. <laughs> you can either ruin your day by trying too hard, um, or, you know, it's, it's really, at the end of the day, it's more about the experience you get. Needless to say, playing in the program round could be a little tough, but I had a lot of fun learning how to golf for the first time ever from the Union Endicott golf team. Atre Vineshny, 12 News, Broome County. Don't go anywhere. Our continuing coverage from the Dicks Open at the Enjoy Golf Club here in Endicott, New York, continues at the top of the hour. WBNG's 12 News at 6 is right around the corner. But before we head to the break, we're going to take one more look at tomorrow's first round tee times.